all right what's up guys this is marco flores and uh today we're gonna talk about teofimo lopez the best lightweight in the world i after the lomachenko fight you gotta give it to teofimo uh a lot of people after the nakatani fight they didn't. They stopped believing in him, and then boom, he knocked out Richard Comey, and he he he's been calling he's been calling on Lomachenko for like three years, and um, if you know the if you know the the history about uh, the whole past between uh, Teofimo Lopez and the Olympics, he couldn't uh, qualify for the for the U.S. Uh, Olympics, so so it was like. I don't know. It was a controversy with Carlos Balderas or something. Uh, that's why he doesn't like. Well, now he's he's in good terms with Carlos Balderas, but at one point, uh, it was just like I don't know how the situation worked, but they gave the spot to Carlos Balderas, uh, and I think Teofimo's pops was like, "No, uh, Teofimo was the one who should have got the spot." Uh, I don't really know too much about it. If anyone knows, make sure you comment down below. Uh, but shout out to Carlos Balderas. Carlos Balderas is is a very humble kid. Very a very if you meet him in person, Carlos Balderas is like like straight up like just humble and laughable. Like he's the type of people who 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 will give you like their their last dollar. You feel, you get me? Uh, Teofimo, Teofimo too. They're not. They're very good people. Um, like when I was trying to get my high school diploma, I messaged the uh, uh, Wakal Junior, and then he told me to message Teofimo. And Teofimo responded ASAP, like quickly. Uh, very good people too. I, I still, I still think that's a good fight, uh, in the future. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Carlos Balderas. Shout out to Carlos Balderas and Jose, his his bro. But yeah, guys, Teofimo is unanimously the best lightweight out there. He has all the belts except for I don't even like I don't even like him. But you got to give him his his credit, Devin Haney. Uh, if you know the whole past between me me and him, that's for another video. But I don't like Devin Henney, but uh, he's technically the, the the WBC champion, and there's nothing you could do about it. Like he's technically the WBC, so so he's WBC. Uh, he holds the WBC. Uh, that's the only belt that Teofimo Lopez needs. But as far as why he's the best lightweight, he just beat. Lomachenko, Lomachenko was rated as some some people had him in the. I was gonna say number one, but look, some people had him as top three. Most people, most people, it was almost universal, had him top three in the top three. Like it could be one, two, or three, with Canelo and Crawford. So it was a, a, along those guys, right? Now. <clears throat> who out of all those three guys Teofimo had ju has just beat one of them one of the the members Lomachenko, Canelo and Crawford so those are the members we're going to call them Teofimo just beat one of those members Teofimo beat him yeah, it was it was a good fight. It was a good fight for yeah, hell yeah, it was a good fight. And you got to give Lomachenko his credit. He's a tremendous fighter. Broke has break has broke history, and he's 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 a great fighter. Uh, he's gonna go down as 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 a legend. Uh, beating Gary Russell, Walters, uh, Sosa, Rigandel, Linares. He has a, an an amazing resume. Lomachenko beats him. I mean, uh, Teofimo beats him. Okay. So, Crawford and Canelo. 
who have they beat that's as good as Lomachenko? Canelo has beat Golovkin, right? Okay, I'll give it to Canelo. Canelo's a beast. Uh, I'll give it to Canelo for the Golovkin. Crawford, he hasn't beat anyone like that, like Lomachenko or Golovkin, but you got to give it to Crawford because Crawford has beat so many fighters that are good. Uh, maybe maybe even great. Uh, I just don't know it. But but yeah, you know he he nah seriously he be some good fighters like he be Hank Lundy, like Hank, Hank Lundy could fight Molina a power puncher that's the dangerous fight for anybody. Crawford made it look easy. He he be Kell Brook, um, a Benavides Benavides. Uh, shoot, um, that just off the top of my head. He, Victor Postol that's a that was a dangerous fight. Um. Yeah, so Crawford deserves the the top three spot. Like, it could be a two, three. Uh, in, in that within that category, right? But there's no way that that Tiofi was not the best lightweight in the world. Uh, you could argue, uh, in terms of pound for pound, Tiofi could be three, two, or one, but he's the best lightweight. There's no lightweight Gervonta Davis, Ryan that have that have beat a guy like Lomachenko. None of them. Tifimo took a risk and most people thought he was gonna lose that fight. And uh he took home everything. Like his pop said. <laughs> Not only did he take all the belts, but uh ironically he took the gold medals too. Uh like ironically like he lost the gold, he lost the uh the Olympics. But uh he never gave up, and he beat the man who won the Olympic Games twice in 2008 and 2012. So that right there is like, damn, he did it. He not only won the belts, but he won two gold medals in the process. Uh, but Lomachenko is a hell of a fighter. But yeah, guys, this is Marco Flores, and let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. What's next for, what's next for Teofimo? Let's get it.